Wait, 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 no. Oh, you think you're just gonna show up and expect me to do some gameplay? What is this? This is my channel, not your channel. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Girl Man Child Gaming Indie Corner. Today, we're gonna play three random games and see what kind of debauchery we can get into. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. I got The Sun Shines Red, Strange Terror from Beyond the Stars, and The Interview. Three short random horror games and we're going to see how scary they really are. So let's dive into the first one. Okay. Mouse one to interact. Instant quit, L. I'm sorry. What are we sorry for? Okay, so it just throws us up in here. Welcome to Apophis Corp. You have been selected for the Tantalus program. Begin baseline assessment. Tantalus? How about Tantalus? Do you plan on voting in the next election? Okay, yes. It is a God-given right. Are you a homeowner? Yes. Yes, I am. Have you been arrested for a violent offense since June 1st, 2016? Well, I hope not. I don't remember doing nothing. Have you witnessed a violent offense? You do not commit. What? Have you witnessed? Yes. Yes, I have. Have you witnessed murder? No. No, I have not. I think I would be pretty traumatized. Would you kill if I asked you to? What, you think you can just influence me? You didn't even ask, please. Do you care about your loved ones? Absolutely. I have a loving wife and three beautiful kids. The sun shines red. Okay. But does it? It's more of a yellowy orange, I would say. Uh, I don't know. The sun shines red. No. No, it does not. EXP. Trail one. Records true. Engaging. Uh. What have we got ourselves into? Get the knife. Oh. Dog? No, I am not. No. I have a dog. I am not killing the dog. Do we have to? No, I'm not gonna. Guys, it's literally going to make us kill the dog. Okay. Do you feel happy? No. No, I do not feel happy. Who would feel happy from that? Can you see the shine yet? What shine? We will show you. Show me what? Do I want more? So is it going to make me do more bad stuff if I click yes? Or what if I click no? No, no I don't. Do you want more? No. Okay, we're going to try it one more time, and then I think it's going to make us. You want. Oh, no. It's for real, for real going to make us. Experience B. Trail 1. Record. True engaging.
you know what to do. Uh, what is going on? We just killed the Enderman. We beat Minecraft, guys. Do you think you are a murderer? I mean, yeah, right. We obviously just killed somebody. You will become one. Do you think that something is watching? Yes. There's a camera. I mean, obviously, yes, something is watching. What is that? Do you think I am God? No. Definitely not. Correct. They fear you. What? Experience C. Trail 1. Record true engaging. So are these memories or are these like forced illusions? You are ready. Go down the line. Shine. Red. Okay. What the hell is going on? See, why is sunshine... Sun is spelled different now. Can you see now? What am I seeing, though? The sun shines red. It changed sun as in sunlight to sun as in biological sun. No? I'm not seeing the connection here. I will make you see. Genesis 116, God made two great lights, the greater to govern the day and the lesser to govern the night. Okay. Day breaks. Your light will shine. Red. False engaging. The sun shines red. Wait. The sun shines red. What is actually happening right now? Close the door. One by one. See it, see bit, see spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. I have no idea what's happening. In, in the midst of everything that's going on in the world, this game is highly controversial. How is this available for download? Apophis. 
All right, guys, that's it for that one. Uh, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show with that game, honestly, because that is highly controversial. Um, no idea what it's trying to show. That <laughs> Basically just trying to convince you that murdering is okay. So that one's probably going to be highly edited. So let's go to the next one. Strange terror from beyond the stars. There were 20 crew members at the beginning of the Galactic Expedition of 1967, but only five remain in the aftermath of the strange terror. Witness a truly horrifying sci-fi game with a 60s aesthetic. Each time you play, you'll go up against one of 17 monsters, each with their own special abilities, including special guests from iconic movies and random monstrosities. Will you survive playing through this entire film erm game? I don't know. We're about to find out. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's kind of... Like cyanide and happiness graphics, but in black and white. So they're really like basic characters. <laughs> so let's check this one out and see what's going on. I think it's going to be more of a comedy horror than a horror horror. Dave Microwaves Games. He's created a lot of stuff. And from what I can tell, his stuff is like really good. He's done a bunch of SpongeBob horror too, which I plan on checking out. Strange Terror from Beyond the Stars. And yeah, it's like 60s black and white horror I don't want to try and look at any of the monsters and get an advantage I want to go full blind you sure you want to go out there it's pretty dangerous man once you step <laughs> out the door I can't let you back in here I don't have a choice I'm not gonna wait any longer I'm either gonna find a man way these out games that have to narrate for me that's out there all right so yourself we'll just wait here till help arrives okay E2 open. So do we have any objectives? Captain. Find a way out or kill the monster. Okay. We can turn our flashlight on and off. Storage. The hell was that? Down the armor. <laughs> okay. So the AI is pretty smart. You sure you want to go out there? It's pretty. All right. So we don't need to see that again. Find a way out or kill the monster. Captain's quarters. So we need a key card for the captain's quarters. So we're looking for key cards so we can either get weapons or get out. So there's nothing down there. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't even see it. Okay, one more time. Nothing in here. Nothing here. Hey, it's you. Can you get me out of here? The door malfunctioned and now I'm stuck in this room. You mind getting me out? All right. Cool beats though. All right, so we need a key card and something to pry open the door. Wait, tech room, merchant, mechanics office. Oh god. Keep it quiet. See if we can hide. We know we're in a room right near us.
But how long will they stick around is the question. Oop, I heard another door. That one sounded further away, though. Okay, so we lost the monster for now. Captain's key card. Swing so to the captain's key orders. All right, so we need to go try and safely make it to the captain's quarters. Hey, secret room. Turn it off the power. Does that open that door at the end? What is in here? This room is huge. We keep looking. Another vent access. This is good though. We're getting some ver some distance. Bathroom. Lost something? Maybe the staff found it. Is this lost and found? I haven't seen the monster in a while, which is kind of troublesome. Wanted. Maybe I can use this to jam the door open to free that guy. Don't forget to smile, laugh, and have a great day. Armory. I have the armory key card. I thought I had the armory key card. Another hiding spot. Where does this vent go? These vents are going to be key for outrunning the monster, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, okay, it goes back to the mechanics room. Okay, we wait here. Pretty sure the way the monster was was the way that the guy is. So we need to jam open the door. We really need that armory key card. Finally, thanks, man. I thought I'd never get out of here. Steam maintenance key. Ah, uh, Tom Mighty. No, we might be wrong, guys. Lounge. Get back to the bedrooms. Nope. Come on. Chukum, chukum. Ah, so mighty. All right, guys. We're going to cut that one there. It's really fun game. It just takes a while to play, so um, I don't want to have to go through all the time to find all the key cards again and everything else, so... We'll come back to that one. I do like it a lot. Uh, maybe we'll do a full walkthrough, playthrough of that one and try out a bunch of different monsters. But for this video, we're on to the next one. All right, guys, this next video is called The Interview. Brian Moore, a government reporter, you've been tasked to interview a mysterious entity that is currently being detained in a facility 166 Eaglewood, a maximum security prison doubling as a test facility. No one knows what goes on inside. She calls herself Sister Maria. Records on her show nothing, and she isn't the greatest fan of disbelievers. What is her goal? Why is she here? What does she intend to do? That's what we're here to find out. Uh, the game has two endings, and our choices can affect the outcome of either ending. So we might try and get both endings for this game, guys. All right. The interview. Okay. Let's put in this tape. 
Officer Paul. Hey there, lad. You must be Brian Moore. I was told that you're here to conduct an interview. I'm in charge of showing you around the block. Let's get this over with. All right. Well, you're just the most friendly police officer on the block now, aren't you? What do we got? Just looks like a regular prison. All those incarcerated in this block here are for serious crimes. The guy over there shot down 27 people in a church. Crazy stuff. I don't get paid enough to look after these twats, but I'm in charge here. Okay. Let's keep moving. Will do, officer. Lead the way. What's this guy take us for? A schmuck? The inmates follow a strict schedule here. They return to their cells at 8 p.m. Early bedtime, don't you think? They just finished dinner an hour ago, so the cafeteria is closed. The interrogation room is up ahead. Only those with access are allowed. Let's get a move on. You're the one that keeps stopping. What? Don't yell at me to move when... Oh, must be serious. They got them armed guards up in here. This is as far as I can go, lad. Your subject is to be interviewed here. I hear she's tricky to handle. No weapons past this point. You know the drill. Yep, I'm just a reporter. Don't know why I would have a gun. Good luck, lad. Hope to see you in one piece. Um, what kind of interview is this again? Ah. Okay, seriously, why would we be interviewing something when there's a floating eyeball? I'm Brian, here to ask you a few questions, huh? Greetings, my child. What brings you here? Oh. <laughs> Reverse order. Greetings, my child. What brings you here? I'm Brian, here to ask you a few questions. Uh, you may call me Sister Maria, my child. Sister Maria, are you human? I believe not, my dear, for the Lord sent me here to carry out his will. His will? Or the Lord? Is there a higher power that you serve? A divine being. The Almighty. He is the embodiment of absolute truth. His will. His will. To purge the world of all sinners to form a world of absolute truth. Are there more of your kind out there? Or is it possible for humans to contact your God? I don't know if there's more. I was sent alone. I alone am enough to carry out his will. Is it possible for humans to contact your God? Be not afraid. The Almighty will reach out when it is time. I see. And? My child, tell me. Do you think humankind is free of sin? I don't think so. Not at all. It isn't, but we've moved toward, forward as a race. Sister Mia, I would rather continue with the interview process. Answer me, child. Mm, I don't think so, not at all. It is, but we move forward as a race. I think, yeah, we definitely move forward. And tell me, child, what do you think might drive your kind to sin? I'm not sure. Greed, maybe? Or pride, I guess. Greed. What leads humankind to ruin, my child, is a lack of faith. Tell me, child... Do you believe in a God, a higher power? I do not. Humankind has moved past the need for God. Yes, I do believe in a higher power. I see, my child, and you do not want to be free of sin. Accept the blessings of the Lord, my child. Okay, I don't know if I want to believe in your Lord. You're, uh, <laughs> kind of spooky. Definitely on the spoopy side. He and he only can spare you on the day of judgment. I think it's too late for that, Sister Maria. I'd rather continue with the interview. I have a job to do. Ah, my child. I see you're cautious. I can understand. But, my child, your reluctance to believe will not end well. For instance, your wife, a sweet young woman. Her death was unfortunate. I saw it all. You were both like-minded, energetic, but full of disbelief. 
things could have gone very differently that day. It's a shame indeed. How the hell do you know that? It doesn't matter now. She's gone, and no god can change that. Tempting. But yes. Ah, my child, you do not understand. The Lord tells me what I want to know. He who is all-powerful, he can see the future and change the past. Submit to him, and everything you once lost will be yours again. Let's put that aside. I'd appreciate it if you could answer me. Sister Maria, I didn't... Sister Maria, I believe you didn't answer me. What is your goal? Mm. Ah, my child. I believe I told you already. To eradicate all sin. So does that mean getting rid of humans as well? Are we, are we the ultimate sin in the end? My child, all of humankind begins at one at first. Man was pure, free of sin. But man abandoned God, so they must be punished. And how exactly do you plan on doing that? The seed of truth from which all began. Its divine power will reset the world to that of a pure one. So yes. My mission is absolute, my child. She's going to kill us all. I will eradicate the world of sin. You understand that any such action will lead to military force, and what do you plan on doing if you meet any resistance? Ah, my child, resistance will be futile. For they may win the fight, but lose the war. When the day of judgment draws closer... The one who lose ultimately will be humankind themselves. So those who do not resist will be spared? Yes, my child. For the Lord will forgive he who repents. A bright future awaits those folk who accept the Lord. It is not a tempting proposition. Is it not a tempting proposition? Okay, so that's the thing. Like, The devil lies, but in such a way that it's believable so they could be wanting us to accept their lord being the devil and we just fulfill his ultimate goal and he can claim all the souls of mankind but then again i mean since the recent like weird discovery of what biblical angels would look like a floating eyeball with wings and whatnot i mean hey it could go both ways it might be appealing to some but i'm not sure so humankind might refuse to accept his teachings? So be it. I have no other choice then. Oh my. <laughs> when the day of judgment comes, they shall not be spared. You shall be judged too, my child. But I shall not be the one delivering it. It will be up to the Lord to judge you. But keep in mind, on the day of judgment... No man shall be spared from his wrath. Farewell. Wait, farewell? Did we go splat? I think we went splat. July 23rd, 1993. We didn't go splat. It was just a flashback. Three years later. Not a flashback. Is it fast forwarding to the day of judgment? Okay. Are we coming up on a wreck? Smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Can we stop? I'm not in control, so whatever happens, happens. Oh, wait. It was her. She was, Sister Maria was in the road. A game by Tyrabite. Okay. So she did come back to judge us. The game wasn't too long. Let's see if we can get ending to... Oh, wait. There's a second tape. Or, uh, this probably skips to the interview. Let's see if we can get the second ending. I carry out these actions under the guidance of the Lord. 
Do you dare question his words? I don't think any of them are. He who indulges his sin has no right to speak to me. It seems that this godforsaken race will never learn. Oh, your filthy presence fills me with disgust. I will deliver your judgment myself, lowly insect. Oh, well, there's your second inning. <laughs> All right. Cool game. Cool concept. All right, guys. That's three random games for you. Indy's Corner. Um, first game was really controversial. It didn't really make a whole lot of sense. Second game was really fun. Um, the RNG is great. The monster's not incredibly smart like Northberry Grove, so you can actually hide from the monster. Um, it just takes a while. The ship's super big. You got to find several key cards, wrenches, and I don't know what else you got to find. But the idea that the monster changes every time and they have their own special power is pretty cool. I didn't really get to witness any special powers. Um, I'm assuming the blob can fit through uh, gates and chase you. And there was a monster that looked like Alien. Um, but yeah, I definitely like to go back and check that one out. And then the third one, interviews. Really short, simple game. It Touches on some religious subjects. Um, no offense to anybody. Uh, any of the choices I made weren't personal beliefs. I was just getting uh, an attempt at both endings. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, like. If you dislike, dislike. Uh, comment down below if there's any games you want to see me check out. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.